This is better than my imagination This is more than a dream come true Without the slightest bit of hesitation I knew what I was meant to do Me too? Thanks. Since we both look great, why don't we go out tonight and look great together, right? We'll go to a nice quiet cafe, order a pizza, and fall in love. I can't wait, you big hunk. But first, get me out of this pillow. Erin! Let's order a pizza and fall in love. Your history. I know, it sounds like a lot of money, Mr. McCoy, but it's a beautiful, spacious house. I mean, what do you think would be a Mom! fair price? Mom, Andrew's chasing me again! Stop it right now! No, not you, Mr. McCoy. Yeah, that sounds like a fair offer. Mom, stop Mr. Me. McCoy, can I call you back later? Thank you. All right. Good timing, guys, especially you, Andrew. I expect you to set an example. You're older. Aaron keeps sneaking into my room. Andrew was talking mushy stuff to a pillow. He was about to kiss it when I came in. All right, Erin, that's enough. She's crazy, Mom. I was talking to myself while I made the bed. Oh, look, guys, you're going to have to live together a long time. Too long. Boy, Andrew, you're coming so close to being grounded. You're right, Mom. It won't happen again, I promise. Come on, Erin. Let me tell you the good points about becoming a foreign exchange student. Okay, who can tell me why in Turnbull's experiment, the group A rats refused to drink the water? Jennifer. Uh, Turnbull had conditioned their responses? Good, which of course tells us that the group B rats drank because they... Andrew? <laughs> why did the group B rats drink? Uh, to forget their problems. <laughs> Andrew. My friends call me Andrew. Oh. Hi. Jennifer, Andrew, right? right? Your friends call you. So, the creepy rats drank to forget their problems, huh? I got it from a very reliable source. <laughs> You're cute. I was shooting for handsome, but I'll take what I can get. I was wondering, if you say no, I won't mind. Well, what was the question? Good point. How do you feel about dinner? I think it should follow breakfast and lunch. I mean, with me tomorrow night. Yes. You're great. Well, I'm shooting for terrific. But I'll take what I can get. shirt over your face. Erin, how many times do I have to tell you to keep out of my room? 205. You can't chase me, remember what Mom said? Repeat after me. I will never come into my handsome brother's room again. All right, Andrew, that is enough. Mom, I had to do something. She was going to jump. I've warned you about fighting with your sister. You're grounded. But I've got a date with a goddess tomorrow night. Well, you should have thought of that before. Please don't do this. I'll give you money. Andrew! Okay, I'll vacuum. Excuse me? Oh, 
Jennifer. Hi. I'll see you later. Hi. Hi. About tonight. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. You are? Yeah, I even bought a new blouse. Uh, me too. <laughs> I told my mom all about you. What'd she say? Thought I could go out with you anyway. Listen, last night I was thinking... About our date? Me too. Yeah, well... I'll come get you at 7. Perfect. See you then. Potentially, that was an error. The neutrinos are massless, and the electrons and positrons are small enough so that during primordial nucleosynthesis, they would actually move at the speed of light. <laughs> I love it when I can inject a little humor into these things. Dr. J! No, Andrew. Whatever the question is, the answer is no. It's an emergency. Girl trouble. How do you know? You're 14. So you know what it was like with girls when you were 14? Yes. And it never changes. Actually, it's Erin. She's always interrupting me when I'm trying to work. Yes. I can imagine how that feels. Yeah. It's starting to affect my grades. Hmm. That's not good. But I don't see what I can do to help. Well, I was thinking maybe you can make some kind of super sensitive audio sensor that can pick up any kind of sound that approaches my room. And what good would that do? Oh, lots. Of course, I realize how hard that could be, even for someone as smart as you. When would you like it? Well, I've got this big history exam tomorrow, so I'd need it by this evening. That will be difficult. I have to deliver this article tonight. I'll deliver it. You mean on your study break? Uh, right. Well, that would give me enough time to finish the article and build the sensor. Great! Can I pick it up at six? Yes, all right. Thanks, Dr. J. I knew you could do it. You're the best scientist in the world. Make that the universe! All right, Andrew. I already said yes. Okay, you're the best scientist in the world! Universe. Mmm. Well, that's gonna be nice. Thank you. Yeah. Erin, why do you tease Andrew so much? Because it's fun. I don't tease him. You know, I grounded Andrew because he broke his promise. But you were as much to blame as he was for that fight. Yeah. You've got to respect his privacy, honey. But you're taking all the fun out of it. Erin. Okay. I don't feel it at all. Of course not. There are microchips bigger than that receiver. Okay, now we're activated. Want to hear a pin drop? Whoa! <laughs> now, this is the sensor. You put that in the doorway of your bedroom and you can hear Erin change her mind. Will I be able to hear her even if I'm not in the room? You could be deep sea diving and you would still hear her. You're the greatest, Dr. J. This is the computer disk that my article is on. They close the building at 8. Don't worry, you can count on Ultraman. I'm counting on you. and I are going on some errands. You want us to bring back some ice cream? Perhaps bread and water would be more appropriate. All right. And I'll talk to the governor about a stay of execution. Oh my God. 
goddess awaits. And so begins the greatest night of my life. Oh, aren't they pretty? You too. Can I buy you a flower? Andrew, I love one. Gee, I don't know how I could have forgotten my wallet. It's okay. I hear a lot of bad things happen to you when you get old. Oh, like mothers forgetting to buy their daughters ice cream. Oh, but you've got a lot of good years ahead of you. Thanks. They're all so pretty. It's hard to decide. Go ahead. Pick the biggest one. Could I have that one? Andrew! It's my wallet up there! Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I, I mean, that, that one's better. Oh, that's so sweet of you. That'll be five dollars. Andrew, I'm coming up! You've got to be kidding. I'll be right back. Hi, Mom. I didn't hear you. You haven't seen my wallet, have you? Sure, it's black. No, I... I thought you were doing your history. I needed a break. There's just too many kings of France named Louis. Yeah, someone should talk to them about that. Bye. <laughs> I didn't mean to scare you away. I'll sell it for two fifty. In that case, I'll take two. Great. Here. These are almost as pretty as you. Thank you. What? I didn't say anything. I know. I'm sorry. I can't believe we're here together. I've been wanting to ask you out for a long time. I've been wanting you to ask me out for a long time, too. Have you been feeling the same way about hugging? <laughs> You're funny. I hope you meant that in a nice way. You know, I read somewhere that women prefer men with a sense of humor. How about you? You can't believe everything you read in a magazine article. The article. You read it too? I thought it was real interesting. It said that first dates are important. You can get an idea if you're going to hit off or not. Hold that thought. After eight, the building's closed. Come on, this is a matter of life and death. Look, come back tomorrow morning. Hey! What was that? I can't be home already. Do you think I should get? I hear Rocky Road's pretty hard to beat. No, I had that last week. You went to the burger barn last week? Andrew took me. Oh, the worst brother in the world bought you an ice cream. Well, I think he did it just to impress a girl. <laughs> Where's your cute friend? It's me. It's been acting kind of weird all night. Yeah, man, they should come with a set of instructions. The 
win. Jennifer. Excuse me, are you using, are you using that? Can I take it? Okay. Andrew, where have you been? Well, last summer we went to Niagara Falls. This year looks good for the Grand Canyon. I meant just now. I was putting money in the parking meter. We walked. I sometimes like to help people out. Mom says what goes around comes around. Your mom's right. Wait, don't go. There's something I have to tell you. I'm not supposed to be here tonight. I'm supposed to be with a sick friend. I was talking to him on the phone. I didn't want to bum out on your evening. You could have told me. I mean, I would have understood. I guess I should have. You know, you're really a sweet guy. Hi, Dr. Jeffco. Hi. Benjamin, what a pleasant surprise. Please join me. Thank you. <laughs> well, what would you like, my treat? Wow, thank you. I'd like a triple-decker sundae <laughs> with two scoops of chocolate and two scoops of chocolate crunch and two scoops of chocolate fudge swirl. Waiter. I'll have the same. <laughs> you gonna stick around long enough to pay this? Don't worry, he's not going anywhere. I've gotta see my sick friend. Now? Well, he's still sick. <sighs> Gee, I feel a little guilty about Andrew. Maybe we should take him some ice cream. Hmm? Ice cream is not punishment. Punishment? He was very mean to me, and he... Yeah, uh, uh, Aaron. Andrew's been grounded. I wanted a year, but I couldn't get Mom to go for it. Just how grounded is he? Well, let's just say for the next couple of weeks, his bedroom will be his best friend. Maybe I should give him a call, uh, cheer him up a little bit. Well, right now? Yes, right now. You told me you couldn't have any phone calls. I'm an adult. I don't count. for Jeff Coates' article. You want to go with the Davidson piece on anti-gravity? Nah, it's too far-fetched. Hi. I hope I'm not too late with Dr. Jeff Coates' article. Brush your teeth and don't forget to say goodnight to your brother. But I'm not allowed in his room. Well, tonight we'll make an exception. I'm in big trouble.
Andrew. Mrs. Clemens? Yes. Uh, how's Andrew doing? Oh, I think he's taking it pretty well. Has a sick friend. His sick friend? Yeah, well, he seemed real concerned about him at the restaurant. The restaurant? What restaurant? Where we were having dinner tonight. Mom, I did my history and I'm kind of hungry. So if I could go out. <laughs> I looked on it as a calculated risk. If I'd succeeded, I would have had the date of my life. If I failed, grounded for eternity. Ah, but you missed the point entirely. What do you mean? Your mother trusted you. And you let her down. You're right. A good relationship requires trust and, above all, honesty. I really blew it. I lied to you, I lied to Mom, and I lied to Jennifer. Well, Andrew, the important thing is that we learn from our mistakes. Now, what do you say I go home and whip up some of my famous coconut macaroons? Sure. But can you get Jennifer to deliver them? <laughs> Dr. J? Yes? To be perfectly honest, I never really liked your coconut macaroons. Andrew. Sometimes a little white lie is okay. Come